Could the housing market bubble be ready to burst? Home prices are going down, but interest rates are going up. That's not great news for buyers. And let's do the math. In January, if you purchased a house for $350,000 with a 3.22% interest rate, your monthly payment would be about $1,500. Let's say the price of that same house dropped to $300,000 today, but with a 6.3% interest rate, your payment would be over $1,800. Yes, that is $350 more per month for a house that's $50,000 cheaper. 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy takes an in-depth look at the market and what may lie ahead. The good news is that home prices are finally coming down, but interest rates continue to rise. I'm talking to a homeowner about how they're feeling about the present moment and how you should be thinking about the future. Having a really pretty front yard and a lot of nature around me, that's really important to me. Olivia Paul's describing her ideal home. She's a first-time home buyer who first got into the market about nine months ago. Things were very different then when mortgage rates were about half of what they are now. The way that I look at it, your interest rate was cut in half, but you were also paying 50 grand to $100,000 over asking. She took a break for a while, but is now watching her buying power decrease as interest rates rise. Waiting a year or two years, whenever the interest rates are going to drop, is only going to make me even more frustrated with the whole situation. She's like many people out there right now, trying to predict the future. Who knows what's going to happen with the market? Our house is going to be going up more. Are people going to be done waiting? Are more buyers going to get into the game? Abe Talib's a real estate agent with Remax who knows the frustration home buyers are dealing with when it comes to interest rates. Six months ago, if you borrowed a half a million dollars, uh, your interest, uh, your payment based on the interest rate would have been 2100 at mm -hmm. 3%. Now at 6%, your payment is $3,000, oh, wow. a difference of $900. Despite the low rates of the past couple years, he thinks people need to change their expectations. Historically, the, the rates were always around 4 and 5, so they, they, they will probably never see the threes again. He says now is a good time to be shopping for a home. Right now, say. I would say we're in a, we're in a balanced market, opposed to... You know, the past couple of years, we're in an all-time high seller's market. I'd say right now things are balanced out. A buyer could negotiate a fair, a fair deal. Daniel Maninkov is an economic forecaster at the University of Michigan. I asked him if he expects home prices to come down dramatically. It all hinges on everybody or most people expecting a severe recession, which is not what is the baseline expectation at the moment. I also asked him how long the higher interest rates are likely to stick around. My personal sense is that inflation is probably going to be a little bit more sticky than what uh, a lot of models and a lot of survey medians currently project. They will be able to afford to start cutting rates maybe by the end of 23. According to Remax, the average home price between July and August has dropped around $20,000 in Macomb County, $10,000 in Oakland and Wayne counties, and $7,000 in the city of Detroit. But Maninkov says there could be a pretty easy explanation for that. If you average what's being uh, listed for sale, you're probably going to see nominal declines, but that happens every year. So housing cycle is typically very, very seasonal. Of course, I had to ask the economic forecaster if now is a good time to buy a house. If you're in a position to buy a house, I think part of full-blown financial crisis, it's always a good time to buy a house. In Northville, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News.